Hey, have you ever dated a software developer? Or are you a dating software developer? This video is for you. Let's jump into it and find out more. But before we jump into it, my name is Eugene, welcome to my channel, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I post my videos about software development and tests and career development and all that good stuff. And follow my social media on Twitter and Instagram. And also follow my blog at www.awesometester.com. Let's get into it. First of all, software developers are people too, and they want to be loved and they want to be accepted just like anyone else, but there are a few specifics that their profession brings into a relationship. So your typical software developer is a really nerdy person because uh, they're interested in computers, they're interested in like video games, technology, and things like that. They may be fascinated by really weird, um, obscure, uh, scientific, technological topic and you have to be okay with that. It's why they're engineers, it's why they're software developers and um, without that they probably wouldn't be as successful as they are in their profession. They won't fix your computer. No, uh, it's funny uh, when I talk to people or uh, uh, when um, you know, my relatives um, are reaching out to me like, well, you're a software developer, you work with computers, my computer is not working, fix it, like, we don't know how to fix your computer. We don't know why someone thinks they're not working. So, okay, let me break it down to you. It really depends on the area of expertise and there are some of their, their fields and their jobs where a software developer works with hardware and implements uh, very di uh, difficult mechanisms to make sure that software will run. And there are software developers and majority of, of us are software developers who work with the code. We, majority of the time, we have no idea how it works in the computer. Like, yeah, we have theoretical knowledge about mem memory and this and that, but uh, if your computer is broken, uh, we, we're not really in the business of fixing computers, right? So, <laughs> they won't fix your computer, sorry. Software developers are really good at solving problems because coding and software, develop software development and it's all about solving problems because knowing code and knowing how uh, the syntax of the code is not that difficult but why they're getting all the big bugs because they know how to solve problems. So it may be really useful in a relationship when uh, you're running into a challenging situation and your um, partner who happened to be a software developer will probably try to solve this problem in the most effective way. They are software developers who are so involved in coding and learning and it's a part of our job that sometimes when we go home and we get home, we do learning and we try to uh, code and practice on our own just to stay on top of the business. So, don't be upset if you're partner goes home and instead of watching Netflix with you goes to their room and like decides to code and program and uh, practice a little bit and do some work it's just the nature of the business I'm not saying it's gonna be like every day all day like that but it's something that could to keep in mind because technology is changing pretty fast and we have to stay on top of, uh, of, of the things but to keep going and be in our profession and if we don't practice, if we don't learn new frameworks, new technology, new algorithms and all the cool, really nerdy stuff, we gonna be out of business. So, I'm sorry, it's just a part of software developers' life. 
But like I said, by the end of the day, so for developers that people do, they want to be loved, they want to love, they want relationship, and uh, they want to be accepted. And all those stereotypes that software developers, they don't really look up for their bodies, they don't exercise, they're uh, introverted, they're antisocial. And these are just stereotypes, because each and every person is different, and there are software developers who came into profession from a different background, so they, they will be different. So, if you met a software developer or you date a software developer, have fun and um, yeah, just take it step by step and see how it goes. Uh, if you're dating a software developer or you used to date a software developer, tell me in the comments below about your experience because I can't wait to hear about it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!